Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a wireless Bluetooth earpiece. So if you're tired of your big Bluetooth, this might be for you. Alright guys, so I picked this up on Amazon. It's a little earbud, so let's crack it open and see what it looks like. So this is actually a little bit of a special one because it has a little tray or a little storage compartment. So it looks like we got a user manual here, which we might and or might not need. And here we have a USB charger, a micro USB looks like, a little earpiece. And here is the actual item. So it comes in this little case here. Looks like we have a charger in the back here and a button. And on the front we have four LED lights. And on top here we have the branding of Duola looks like. So there's, okay, yeah, it's definitely magnetic. So the lid has a magnet. The unique part of this one is that it can charge while it's sitting in its cradle. So, and the cradle itself has an internal battery. You can charge your little earpiece inside the cradle so technically if you would charge this completely and have the earpiece charged you could technically go on three charges without even seeing a charger so that would be equivalent to about 12 hours of use all right so let's take it out of its cradle here all right and this thing is tiny guys so here in the cradle you can see two pins and those two pins make contact at the back of this earpiece and that's what charges it because they have versions where you have to plug it in and not the good way to go. This is the right way to go here. All right, guys, so let's put this little earbud back in there just like that. And that's it. I mean, that's all you got to do. And it should be connected down there. Close this lid. If I can show you a little better here. It, where it gets to the end, it, it clamps down. It's not a super hard clamp, but it's a good clamp. It's enough to keep it shut. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit this button back here, let's say, to activate it. And here we have four LED lights in the front. So that must be the power inside. So this is great for, you know, throwing it in your purse if you're a lady. And if you're a guy, you can just throw this, you know, in your car or something or wherever you dwell. You know, and then whenever you're done with the little guy, you can just put him in there and he'll be charging. And by the way, guys, it is charging right now. So as you can see, it's a red LED glowing. So I'm guessing when it's done, it's either going to go blue or go off. We'll see. So when I take it out, you can see that the light goes off. And I'm guessing this, yep, it'll turn off. And if we put it back in, it looks like it doesn't come on on its own. To activate the charge, you will have to push this button, looks like. Yes, every time. So I guess that's not a big deal. Once you put it in, just click the button and it'll start charging. So pretty cool. So technically, you can go about 12 hours, you know, with everything being fully charged. So the little earbud lasts about four hours at a time. So one of the things that I'm not crazy about is this logo on the top. But, you know, you could probably put a, your own sticker on top or something else. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. So let's put it, pull it out of the cradle and push the button. And there we go. So I'm going to use my phone here to try to see if I can find it. All right. So I am connected to another Bluetooth device that's right here, actually, which we'll compare here in a second. But let's see where this one is. There it is. So it's called Q33. Okay, that's a pretty cool name. Q33, let's see. Alright, it looks like it's connected. Yes, it is. So we're connected to Q33. Alright, so it looks like it doesn't blink or anything when it's connected. Which is actually a pretty common feature, seems like, on these... Chinese ones because this one here also does not blink or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my ear and see how it feels. Alright guys, so hopefully you'll be able to see. So I guess you could put it in like this. Whatever is more comfortable. And this should uh be pretty good. And it stays in there pretty well. And it's definitely not gonna come out, guys. Alright, so I want to turn on some music and see what that sounds like. All right, well, this ear bud has a little bit more bass than my other one here. 
Now let me see if I can make a phone call and see what that sounds like. So I'm calling my wife. Let's see how she sounds like. So it's ringing. The ring seems to be clear. My volume's all the way up. Hey, what's up? I'm making a video and I'm testing out the new earplug. How do I sound? Can you hear me pretty good? Like, can you tell that I'm on, on something else or I'm like talking to the phone? So it sounds very good. So is it approved or not approved? All right, guys, it's approved. All right, guys, so we are approved. I actually take off this uh, little, rub, uh, little rubber ear insert, and it seems to fit better for me. And um, I didn't film my whole conversation, but what I did was I switched between this one and this one. And uh, if you guys haven't seen my review of this one, this is a tiny one. As you can see, it's even smaller than this one. But there is a few issues with this one. But to be to go to the bottom line is this one sounds better for sure. At least that's what my wife told me. This one she said I sound like I'm in a barrel with echo. This one is definitely uh, a lot cleaner. You know, talking straight to the phone is still better than this. But this is like definitely doable. This one is, you know, on the margin of doable. But And one of the main things I noticed also compared to this little one. You would think this little one's better. But it's not because when I put in my ear, these sharp corners here, or just the edges right here, they actually kind of poke in your ear and it hurts over time. Like it's un unpleasant. This one is very round and smooth everywhere. And this one seems to like be a lot more pleasant for wearing it for longer times. And the huge plus is that you get the cradle with this one. This one didn't have anything. This one to charge it, you have to plug it into this little tiny hole right here, which is very annoying. But this one is awesome because we can just put it in here and then push the little button in the back, wherever it is, there it is, and away charging we go. This is very convenient, you know? And the cool part is, is that when you guys close it, you can see a little engraving there. Um, you know, if you move this thing around, it'll lose charge, obviously, as you can see. But if you um, close it, it keeps it in there where it doesn't let it, you know, come out. Or it pushes it on the pins where the, you know, it'll keep charging. So it's really cool. And, you know, as long as these lights are on, that means it's doing something in there. So, so it's pretty amazing how far Chinese companies have come where they can make stuff like this for really good prices, guys. Um, ever since I got this earbud, I can't get it out of my ear because I constantly use it because it's so convenient. It, you know, it's small. You put it in your ear, you forget about it. And, you know, you can use both hands doing things while you're talking to people. And, you know, holding your phone to your head is not a good idea because you're getting a lot of radiation. All right, so let's do one more thing here. Let's plug the charger in and see what that looks like. So I got my laptop here. We'll just use that. And there we go. All right, so when you plug it, it actually blinks, if you can tell, guys. So it's charging the battery. So it's in charge mode right now, charging up the final dot. And, and it appears to be that you can't charge the earpiece and charge the cradle at the same time, unfortunately, it looks like. Yes, so you do have to do that separately. So the second I plug this in, the earpiece goes off and this thing starts charging. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but not a big deal. So technically when you're done charging, you just unplug it, hit that button in the back to make sure your piece is going to be full and you're done. So this will turn off once the earpiece is full and you know, you're always going to have a recharged earbud. All right guys, so that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to go see my other video of this one, check it out. I'll have a little link here at the end. And if you want to get any of these guys, I'll leave links in the description where you can buy these. Look for one with a cradle because that's definitely that definitely makes a lot more sense, especially carrying around how little these things are. And definitely look for a smooth one because if you get a sharp one like this one, you know, like me, I my ear kind of hurts after a while because it's kind of poking me. All right guys, if you like this video, hit that like button.
And also check out my other videos on this channel. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see more videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.